Hello, it's Dave here from Megapoints Controllers. This is just a quick video to cover the topic of centering servos. I have a 12 channel servo controller here and I have two identical servos connected. The throws and everything are default so nothing has been changed from the norm. If I throw them though, look how differently they move. This guy is moving an equal amount either way and this guy's hanging off to one side. So this would produce an even movement on a set of points. This guy's just going to be a bit of a garbled mess. And the reason for that is probably I failed to center the servo. Now it's really, really simple to center a servo. All you do is you put the servo controller into program mode. This is connected to channel number one. So I'll press the program button once. You see the servo jump, it's actually jumped to its electronic center. Then all I need to do is remove the servo horn, reattach it on the spline that is closest to the center. I think that one. And I'm centered. Now if I go through programming mode and run through the other 11, it's back in run mode. And when I flick the switch, I'm getting approximately the same amount of throw each side. And that's the best way to begin your installation because that will translate into approximately equal motion of the point blade either side of the center. Let's assume you've installed your point motors and forgotten to do this step. All is not lost. So I'll put this servo into a servo mount, drop it in, and I will attach the piano wire to a horn and I'm just going to throw this in so it's definitely not centered. Attach the cable and let's see what we end up with. Flick the switch. The movement's so bad it's just going up and down, it's not moving across. So you're in this mess, how do you solve it? Simple, press the program button Servo is now in its electronic center. You can remove the servo horn from its shaft, reposition it so it's as close to the center as it will go, and then run the servo controller through an exit programming mode. And now you have approximately equal motion either side, which is translating into smooth movement either way, top and bottom. So the fulcrum and then the piano wire either side that will go into the tie bar gives you a nice smooth movement. Trivial really, in a couple of seconds is all it takes to fix. Then you can obviously put the, uh, the retaining screw in. If I just hold this in my hand and feed the piano wire through a tie bar, you can see it in operation. Flick the switch and you see the tie bar and the point blades move nice and smoothly. And I hope you can appreciate there that I've put almost no effort into that whatsoever. It was a quick installation. The trick is, center your servo first, you'll have no issues. If I press the program button, it jumps back to the center. Thanks for watching.